Hello and welcome to Into Wine's Tasting Room. I'm your host, Lisa Colenda. Today we're at Yield, San Francisco's first and only organic wine bar. The tasting theme for today is organic wines under $30. This is the 2004 Erba Luna Lange Nivolio from Lange, Italy. Retails for $28 a bottle. This is a vegan wine. Chris, what does that mean? Well, um, a lot of wines are vegan. They're just not uh, marketed as such. Basically, to be a vegan wine, it has to be wine that's uh, not filtered. Because um, common uh, method of filtration is, is eggs, actually. Yeah, eggs, uh, egg white, and then fish belly. Um, so uh, there are other ways to filter wines without um, without animal product. Yeah. And there's a big, big, I'm always trying to remember the difference between a vegan and veg vegetarian one. Um, and there's some distinctions. Well, I thought that the um, the fish was pretty outmoded. Are people, I mean, that's Still I mean, that's has it's got this it's, summer. Okay, I've. I've that that's less and less. It's mostly the eggs. Yeah. Can we back up? What does this mean when eggs are filtering wine? It's actually it's it's a, a, it's it's filtration. Just, actually, it's, um, you you put you break the egg the, you put the egg pipe on top. It's actually top of Yeah, and it it's grabs like, all the particles and proteins. And yeah. It sinks very very slowly to the bottom and drags all of the particles with it. Whereas uh, filtration is through pans. But then, wouldn't there be some raw eggs in the wine? No. 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 Bad eggs. <laughs> no. It's, it's egg white, it's not yolk. It's, it's egg white, and it. And we're talking about things out of But the thing is, I think, is consumers are wanting to, like, um, kind of taste the wine more. Um, more winemakers, I think, are not filtered to get more extraction. I mean, I, I think that's more common. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it does, does uh, take something else from the wine. Take something away from the wine. And um, mm -hmm. we're not like so obsessed with things being perfect and clean mm -hmm. in such a way. The fine thing is, uh, is you invest in the wine. Certainly all the classifiers are fine with the white egg. Just leave a bit of extra on the bottom so it's in the silver. Made for real eggs. Cage free. <laughs> well, how do you think that affects the color? I don't think well, it affects the color. Yeah. It would take. It would affect the cloudiness if we didn't. Yeah, it makes it kind of But this uh, 04, it, it, you know, it's 2007 now. It's showing really kind of a maturity. That's said. There's a no, absolutely not a trace of youthful violet and purple, and a nice good soft gradation, soft a soft taste, and a lovely gradation, and it looks actually mature. Just looking at it, you don't need to smell it or taste it. It's going to be a red I like this wine a lot. It's got a, it's, it's more European in style. It's much drier. Um, there's a definite tannic finish to it. Which, um, okay. Uh, Twenty-eight dollars for Nebbiolo. That's Nebbiolo is fantastic. That's like unheard of. Yeah. yeah. So where would be an appropriate place to drink this wine? <sighs> well, no, oh, it's Cuba. We went to. Fabulous restaurant last night called A16, and it went very well now. Mm -hmm. It's probably here at the Yield. Thank you. Yeah, the cheese is for sure. It's dry, right? The Nebulas normally have a much more tannin. The Tuscan wines from the north, the Langek, um, have a greater length of uh, life, potentially. I like I love Italian wines, but I like Tuscan wines at best. But this needs some more bottle age. 14% alcohol. A few more years. That would be perfect. A few more years? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then you need to um, decant this wine or let it breathe for a while before drinking it? I think it would be very sensible to do so if you want drinking it tonight, for example. But um, no, it will mature. And as red wine mature, there's usually a little bit of sediment. But, yes. but it's already showing some, some complexity. There's a little bit of a, a slight gamey quality to it that's nice, and there's a little bit of a dry floral. I mean, it's, I got you right. yeah. the, the flavors are still there, but because it's such a, a big grape and it's 
younger definitely gets you in the back. I think that's sort of the big yeah. mistake to drink it as a drink in wine bar. Yeah. I think it needs food. Yeah. yeah. Tannins, as I said, um, dries the mouth and leaves the mouth nice and clean, but it's very noticeable. And they repeatedly felt about <laughs> ripping the teeth. Um, but um, you wouldn't notice that tannin with food. Well, we'll have to keep this one in mind for the next dinner party then. This has been the 2004 Erbeluna Lange Nebolio from the Lange region of Italy. Retails for $28. And you can read more about this at intowine.com. Thanks so much.